name's Kevin Shaw and I'm with Georgia Olive Farms and we are going to uh, to show you how to plant an olive tree. Of course you need a, a tree, preferably an Arbicina um, here in Georgia, being that because they are the most cold hardy tree that's available. Need a little bit of lime to adjust your pH. Need a little bit of time release fertilizer. Preferably, you need a little small bamboo stake like this, a little bit of tape to tie the, to tie the tree up, and you need a little shovel to dig a hole. Ideally, you want your soil pH to be somewhere around 6.5 to 7.0, oh. and uh, there, there's not an exact science of, of getting it there, but this, the, this dolomitic line that we have here will raise the pH uh, substantially. Uh, our soils are naturally around 4.8 to 5.0 in, in South Georgia. What we'll do is just dig this hole, which is uh, rather easy to dig right now because I pre-dug it with a big shovel. But we, uh, this little spade should be should be fine to do a tree no bigger than this. So then you just pull the tree out of the pot. Break up your roots, which are coming apart pretty easy right here, and then you'll you'll come cover this up. You want to keep the uh, the the potting soil. You want to you don't want to put it no more than an inch under the top of the dirt. Want to make sure the dirt's packed good. And then what you can do is just take a little light small handful of, of this dolomitic lime, just throw it over there, and then come in with a little time release fertilizer. And it doesn't take a lot, but this does pretty pretty uh, easy on the roots. Then come in with this little bamboo stake, push it down beside the tree. And then what this will do is this will allow you to be able to train the, the tree up straight, and it won't try to lean over or flop in the wind. And you need to take this tape, and it's very important not to tie the, the tape too tight because you don't want to cut off the circulation of the tree, so to speak. And then you want to water the tree. And you don't want to overwater, but you want to keep the dirt good and moist, and this will help stimulate the new root growth. But it's uh, like like I say, you don't want to you don't want to overwater, and you don't want to keep the dirt saturated, but you do want to have adequate water. I would uh, recommend you know just just testing the dirt, and make sure it's good and moist. You want to get all the air pockets out, and then once the once the tree is established, you can cut way back on the water. But for that first month or so, you need to be watched pretty closely. You can, you can purchase these trees um, through Georgia Olive Farms on and our website is georgiaolivefarms.com. And it's, uh, we have the Arbicina, Arbasana, Coronicki, a few table varieties that will also grow in Georgia. Well, there, there are people as far north, and believe it or not, as far north as Atlanta that are growing these trees. And, uh, but, but they have to be a little careful. You know, it's not as easy to just put them out in the yard. They have to be able to cover the trees when it's gonna be really cold or either bring them inside. If it gets really cold, I mean, you know, under 14 is kind of the magic number. But we've uh, we've we've seen temperatures lower than that in places, and the trees have have, have right. made it through it. Happy olive tree planting. <laughs>